Good morning. For our daily devotional today, um, we're going to be reading Judges 9, verses 7 through 15. It says, when Jotham was told about this, he climbed up on the Mount Gerizim and shouted to them, listen to me, citizens of Shechem, so that God may listen to you. One day the trees went out to anoint a king for themselves. They said to the olive tree, be our king. But the olive tree answered, should I give up my oil by which both gods and men are honored to hold sway above the, over the trees? Next, the tree said to the fig tree, come and be our king. But the fig tree replied, should I give up my fruit so good and sweet to hold sway over the trees? Then the tree said to the vine, come and be our king. But the vine answered, should I give up my wine, which cheers both gods and men to hold sway over the trees? Finally, all the trees said to the thorn bush, come and be our king. The thorn bush said to the trees, if you really want to anoint me king over you, come and take refuge in my shade. But if not, then let fire come out of the thorn bush and consume the cedars of Lebanon. The book of Judges describes a time in Israel's history when a series of judges or kings were put into power to try to rescue Israel from their corruption and rebellion against God. Judges 9 tells the story of Abimelech, a man who fought for power with selfish and corrupt intent. When he becomes king, his youngest brother Jotham tells this parable or story to warn the people about giving the ruling power to Abimelech. Comparing trees to the people of Israel, he tells a story about the trees asking an olive tree, a fig tree, and a grapevine to be their king. In response, all three refused to be king because they already had natural duties that were fitting for them. But then the trees go to the thorn bush, asking it to be their king. The thorn bush, who Jotham compares to Abimelech, replies, telling the trees to take shelter in its shade. This is obviously an impossible thing, depicting the ill-fitting role of king for the thorn bush, and thus depicting how Abimelech, in his selfish ambition, is not fit to be king. Like this instance in Judges 9, time and time again, the people who rule as kings are unable to rescue Israel from their lawlessness. Israel is longing for a king to rescue them and to make everything right. The people of Israel are desperate for one true king, who we know now is Jesus Christ. The Old Testament reminds us that we are helpless without a savior. Have you ever gone through moments in life where you're longing for meaning and value, so much so that you gave yourself over to a thing or a way of life that ultimately didn't play out for you? We're much like the people of Israel in that we are hopeless on our own. Remember today that we have one true king, Jesus, who we've been looking for all along. Let's pray. King Jesus, forgive us for worshiping the things and people of this world instead of you alone. Draw us back into loyalty to you and to the life and grace that only you give us. Amen.